Welcome to the EdTech Tutor channel. How to demonstrations and tutorials for technology tools in K-12 and higher education. Be sure to like and subscribe this channel and comment below. Welcome to the Canvas LMS course modules lesson. This is about creating modules in your Canvas courses. Uh, modules are your uh, sections or placeholders for the content that you're going to present through the course. So in this sample, I have a sample Canvas um, course in the sandbox. I have welcome, week one, week two, week three. So modules allow you to organize, section off um, each lesson or week um, for your course. Um, so in a higher education setting, you may have a 14 to 16 week um, uh, classes. So I would create a module or section for each week. Um, and if you have a condensed class uh, that's eight weeks, um, for like a summer section, you could do two modules a week, um, depending on when your class meets. So this is an example of a couple weeks. So I'm going to add a module. So the module will be the placeholder for all our content. So we can put our assignments, discussions, quizzes, grades in, you know, our module. So I'm going to click Add Module at the top. What is our module name? So again, how is your class organized? What sections do you want to go by weeks? Week one, week two, week three. Do you want to give it a name like I did? Um, week one, introduction. Week two, interface. Uh, whatever you're going to teach that. You know, so let's say it's math. So if we do week one addition, week two subtraction, um, week six algebra. So I'm going to create um, a module here. So this will be week 16. This will be my last class. Final. <clears throat> final assignment. Week 16, final assignment. So we can lock this, which is important. We can lock until the, that day. So the students can't see it or access it until that day. So I'm going to lock this until April 1. Add a prerequisite. Um, so if we add a prerequisite, what modules must they complete? So we have to have other modules already in our... So week 1, week 2, week 3. So they must complete a prerequisite or no. So if you want a prerequisite, yes. So if I want to do week three, you must complete that. Whatever assignment or discussion is in that module, they must complete in full. Grade doesn't matter. Um, as long as they add something to the assignment or discussion or quiz, as long as they enter data, it'll check it off so that they can continue. So I'm going to not have a prerequisite. So this is going to be locked until April 1. Add module. So now you see at the bottom. So it goes to the bottom automatically. Just to show you, I'll add another module. So I'll say week 15, prep for final class. Add module. So you see week 15, all the modules go to the bottom. So week 15 went to the bottom. So to reorder this, I just click and drag right here. Click and drag up. Collapse it so I can organize these. Oops. Oh, nothing's in there. So it's going to be expanded. It wants you to add content. So I can reorganize these. So if I want week two to be before week one, don't know why I would want to do that. But we're just organizing. We can, I can show you. We can click and drag around. Okay, so week 15 with the week 16. So I'm going to add, click here to drag files to module or choose files. So I'm going to click add. So what do I want to add in this module? So in this module, week 16, final assignment, that's how I add things. Plus, what do I want to add? A quiz, assignment, a discussion. So this is going to be a quiz. 
Okay, we can create a quiz or we can use one of the sample quizzes, practice quizzes. When I create a quiz, <clears throat> it's going to give me a, I have to create a quiz name. So final quiz. Here's a helpful hint and trick suggestion. When you create your quizzes and your discussions, so let's go to discussion, for example, in our module. So it says sample discussion, unit one, unit two, unit three. Okay. When you create these, when you create a topic, same with assignment, we go to assignment. So assignment 2.1, publish a podcast. I would make the suggestion that you, when you create assignments, quizzes, discussions, put the topic name, put the week or top in the topic name or whatever lesson in the topic name. So for example, uh, what if I did um, addition quiz, multiplication quiz, quiz three, quiz four, quiz five. When I go to organize my modules and my quizzes and my assignments, when I go to choose from this dropdown, unit one, unit two, so right here I'm in week 16, but I know unit two discussion does not apply. If I pick, for example, quiz one, I don't know where quiz one is it in week one, week two, week three. You know, how many how often do you have quizzes or assignments? Is it every week? So I would add something as an indicator what week or module it's for. So I'm gonna do a quiz. So let's change this to week 16, final. So this is a quiz. So it goes in assignments. Let's click add item. So now, oh, what happened? Did I say week 15? All right, let's change this so I can edit this. So you see it says week 15 final quiz. Not sure why I did that. Edit. Week 16 update. Great. Okay. Now I can collapse that. See how I can collapse that now? Because there's something inside. Let's add another. So I. I can delete here. I can increase this indent. I can edit, move to, remove. So if I didn't want a quiz, I can just remove it. Send to, copy to. Let's add something else. So see how it says week 15 final quiz? Let's go to assignment. Create assignment. Week 16. Assignment. So keep it nicely organized. Add item. So we're just adding items in the modules. We're organizing our class. Um, we haven't added any quizzes. We haven't added any assignments, but that's how we're organizing it. We can rearrange these in the module, right? So if I collapse this now, I can see that. Collapse that. I don't want week 15. Okay. Delete. Delete was successful. So now week 16, you can see that I have an assignment, I have a quiz. I have to publish these. Click publish, publish, so green check, green check, green check. Now it's available to the date that I wanted it. So we'll talk about dates and um, assignments and quizzes in another lesson. I just want to show you the modules, okay? So we can unpublish if we wanted. Expand all so we can see overview, everything that's published, not published. So we are practicing here. We are doing some modules, creating quiz. So you can see here in week three, we had 3.1 overview, video 3.1. So unit three to, so again, how you organize it. So is it gonna be th section 3.1, 3.2, 3.3? That's the names you give it for the modules. Um, same with discussion, so reflection. Maybe isn't specific enough. Should be week three reflection, so we know. Because if we, you know, try to add something, for example, go here. Okay, plus discussions. Reflection. What week is that for? There's unit one, unit two, unit three discussion, sample discussion, icebreaker. 
So make sure you organize it in a way that it makes sense. Okay. This is the EdTech Tutor channel. Thank you for watching this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe and return back for more episodes coming soon.